Hey guys, welcome back to the Project Ali channel. Today we're going to be doing a mod on the DualShock 4. What I'm going to be doing is switching out these um, analog sticks, the, the stock analog sticks with these ones here. These are the Xbox One um, analog sticks or thumbsticks, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to be putting them inside the DualShock 4. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure about 80% of the people who own a PS4 have been having an issue with the analog sticks of the DualShock 4. Like this here. They've been having the rips of the rubber and it's been wearing off as we play. Here you can see I've got a, um, a uh, thumb stick cap, but they're not ideal. So what I'm going to be doing is sticking these on. So these are the DualShock, f uh, sorry not DualShock, the Xbox One uh, thumb sticks. That came today in the mail so I thought why not let's do a video on these <coughs> these should fit perfectly inside they have they've got the same latch whatnot that fit in so let's get straight into it yeah as you can see I covered it up with electric tape because this one the whole rubber actually came off completely so let's get straight into it first of all what you need to do is remove the four screws which I've done already what you need to do is just start cracking it open so let's go into it so what I like to do is pull it through the handles first like so okay make sure you guide it through the, um, the, the uh, right triggers sorry the triggers just, just start feeding it out to make sure does not get caught. There you go. Um, as you can see, I've taken out um, the back panel. Thing is, what I've done is I accidentally left one of the triggers inside. That's not a problem. We can fix that later. It's not an issue. So what you need to do now is uh, disconnect the ribbon. You can see there's a ribbon there. What you need, you just need to disconnect that. So you could use um, some pliers to pull it out. I'm just going to leave it, take it out like that. So there you go, that's that part taken off. What you need to do here is, as you see, I'm missing an analog stick. It's still on the on this one here. Uh, so not an analog stick, a, uh, it's the L2 button, trigger, whatever. Still stuff on there, but I'll take that out later. What you now need to do is remove the battery, and there's a screw still that's drawn. Uh, I just need to unscrew that. What you, what you may need to watch out for is uh, the reset button here because that might come flying out, it normally does, but it did it for me that time, so I'm lucky. Just put that down. Okay, now that we've taken off the back plate here. What we need to do now is, you see there's another ribbon there, similar to the one that was con uh, connected to the back plate. We need to pull that out. What I'm going to be using is um, these tweezers or pliers, whatever you want to call them. And you can just latch it onto the blue lip there. It's got a lip so you can pull it out. Just push it out like that. It should be fine. Now that's up. Now we can... Uh, Take off the motherboard. Let me just clear this up a bit. Like so. Pull out like that. You could take the battery out as well if you want, but I'm not going to be doing that. So let's keep the shape. Turn it around. There you go. And as you can see. It looks like the reset button came off. It's okay, we can put that back in later. It's not an issue. Let me make sure I didn't pull out the cable too much. Oh, it still looks fine. Okay, what we need to do now is simply take off the thumbsticks. So just keep them aside if in case you need them, in case this doesn't work. So I don't understand why this wouldn't, but yeah, just keep them aside for now. Take this one off as well. 
There you go. It's not hard, it's just a little jiggle and it should be fine. Okay. Now what you need to do is, as you can see, the back of it is similar, or it's the same, same latch that will fit inside the controller, but there's only one way it goes in, so. There you go. And once you, you know it's in by pushing it in hard like that, then you can hit the clicks. Do the same for the next one, which is this here. Find out which way it goes in, just push it in. Let's see if it goes in. Oh, there you go. Okay, yep, that should be fine. Now we just simply place this back in. Just feed through the analog sticks. There you go, um, then the motors would fit in place. That's fine. There you go. These feel excellent. So what we need to do now is, first of all, we need to put this ribbon back in. So you can use the pliers again, but I'm just going to see if I can place them in without the pliers. So as you can see, there's like a tiny little gap there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a gap there. You can just stick the ribbon in, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so pushing this uh, ribbon back in was a bit finicky, but it wasn't too hard. Once I used the pliers again, I just fed it through, so it's not too hard. Okay, what we need to do now is um, just uh, put this, which is the screw that we unscrewed earlier, back inside. Just place that in like that. Get your screwdriver. Okay, so we're almost ready to put this back. Oh yeah, don't forget the reset button. I almost forgot that. Just need, you can just stick this inside. If you can't find the reset area, it will show you on the motherboard reset. You just stick it in there. There you go. That's fine. All I need to do now is remember the ribbon from the other cable. We just need to install it. So I'll figure out which way this is going in. So I'll place on the camera. Right, right in my face. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now that's in. Just make sure the cable is not in this way. Just feed in the triggers. So, be fine. okay, once you feed it in the triggers, as you can see, the ribbon cable is installed. <coughs> it's not hard, just push it in. It's not harder than this one. It's not harder than that. It's quite easy. You just stick it. There's enough room to look around. So, you just want to put in, put it in through the triggers first, like so. Then you'll see these two clips. You just need to push them in, like so. Make sure you don't get caught. Shimmy it in. And don't just snap it on. Just go from each end. So click it in like that. So the top, the side, middle. Kind of turn it on, but sides. There you go. Should be fine. And that's like us. There you go, there you have it. Now all you need to do is just pull the screws on the back and you should be fine. But I'm not going to do that right now because it's quite straightforward. So there you have it. To show you that it works, what I'm going to do is, since I've already switched on my PS4.
det som ser ut det ser som software update och det kan tänka lägga så så det var en en det fyra så mycket bättre än de PS4 ones så anyway guys those that was just a quick mod repair video something unusual on the Project Tele channel um I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching it make sure you leave a like leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe